Beach Rhino's fate was in their own hands. Win or draw, and an eighth league leader's shield was theirs. But they were given a mighty scare. Plucky Salford were first to score through Luke Adamson. Things soon got better for the Reds. They sailed into a 12-0 lead thanks to John Wilshire's score. But it wouldn't last, and Brian McLennan's side started the fight back through Callum Watkins after a great run from Ryan Hall. The youthful but talented Leeds Rhino side soon got their second try. Jay Pitts touching down, and an air of inevitability was creeping in. And the Rhinos took the lead for the first time and firm control of the contest. And it was Luke Burgess from Rob Burrow's pass who got the try. The Rhinos were now firing on all cylinders and Rob Burrow's bomb landed perfectly for Brent Webb. Just before Carl Ablett showed what he can do in front of the mass bank of travelling support. Complete control then for the Rhinos, or so you thought. The City Reds then rallied an assist for Robbie Paul on his final game. But let's be honest, Stuart Littler did the rest. And it soon became a six-point game with the try of the game. A sweeping Salford City Reds move. John Wilshire then did some extreme damage. But it was that man, Robbie Paul, again with the killer blow as Stephen Ratchford raced in the clear. He was unstoppable, and the same could be said for the Rhinos with the playoffs looming. You've got to enjoy your times as you, as you go. You've got to celebrate the good times. And this is a good night for our club. We haven't, we haven't done it since 2004, and you know, Saints have been very strong over the last few years. And so it's nice to, for our club to... We get a little bit of silverware and, and uh, we're proud to get it and now, now it's a new season starting, it's the final series on Friday. Well, St Helens won the League Leader Shield last season. This season it's Leeds and Catalans uh, make the playoffs at the expense of Bradford.